Hello, those of you who um, are watching this and the one person that this is for. So my friend has asked me to do a, I guess, command tutorial for him. So um, I am here on the Mount Olympus map in the Minecraft marketplace uh, made by King Cube and Razzleberries. So we're going to mess with some commands. And let's start in the city. Let's go terrorize the city. Um, let's see what's in this chest. Oh, I need some glowstone. Alright. Um, we're just going to be doing um, like terrain editing commands. Um... See, the best way to destroy a city is starting with its uh, food source. So, commands. Commands can make Minecraft real easy, um, especially if you're making stuff. For um, commands, you can use your controller to do the commands, or you can use a um, external keyboard that you just plug into your Xbox, which is what I'm going to be using. So if you hear extra clicking, it's a keyboard. And... Uh, First, we need a command block. So, um, give. Since it's only me in the world, we can just do at p. If you have other people in your world, um, make sure to put in your um, name tag. Uh, Give that player code. Right. Whoops. Command and then I'm pretty sure it's Yep. Now, it doesn't matter what command block you give yourself, because if we place it down and open it up, we can change um, what we want it to do. Um, the commands I'm going to be showing off are um, commands to help get rid of blocks in very quick since, uh, succession. So... Actually, this isn't a, a good spot for the command block. Let's do it over here. Because I gotta set up a um, mechanism. Um, <clears throat> so, the command we're gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be showing. Is. Um, exe cute. Um, Execute at uh, at p player um, run fill uh, and then we do these coordinates because we're gonna set ourselves as essentially the command um, start point. So for a small area effect, um, you need to do tilta, which is just shift and then the um, tilta button. Uh, we're gonna start off with a small area. So we're just gonna do it all three. And then you want to do tilde negative three for the next three. And then um, put whatever block you want. 
So I'm just going to be getting rid of it. So I'm just going to do AIR error. All right. So that's the command set, and there's what it'll what it should look like. All right, so now the mechanism, since I don't have another person here with me to slap a switch on this or lever and um, activate it for me, you're going to have to set up a small redstone contraption so that way I can activate it at a distance. Oh, that's right. So the map comes with a texture pack, so this threw me off. Uh... So, redstone, lever, torch, and a repeater. Uh, and just a block. So... We need to make this redstone active. Um, but not right now. <laughs> Because it'll activate the command. So I gotta remember how to do this. I'm always forgetful about this. So. Okay. So essentially like that. Because I'm gonna destroy this lever. And that'll continue the signal. Um, once this lever is broken. So I'm going to do it a distance away, even though I did set it up as um, a small distance. Okay, we want to make sure. Alright, and now with the command block, you want to make sure to set it as repeating. So that way it continuously sets off the command. So, now that everything's connected, when I flip this lever, I should become a big ball of destruction. Which I did not. Why did I not? Execute. Oh, I spelled execute wrong. E-X-E. Uh-oh. Uh, let me spell it wrong again and turn this off. Because otherwise I'll just destroy the command cube. So make sure it looks like that. Pause the video, write it down, or just type it in. Alright, so now it should work. Yep. Alright, look at that. Just all this goes away. Never existed. It's even worse than burning down the crop fields. Uh, oh, there's the command cube. Yeah. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's this someone's house. Oh, no, not the house. <laughs> All right. It's a really fun command. Um, let's see if I can stop the command. Okay, I did. Alright, so, um, if you have the, um, external keyboard, which I have, um, you can do control A, which selects all of it, and then you can do control C, which copies it. So that way, if I go ahead and delete it, I can do control V, and it's all back. Um... Something else you can do, if you just want to like do like a road or something, um, you can go to the second number, make it a negative one. So that way it puts the block directly under your character's feet. And uh, I don't know, let's do just do stone. Maybe. Now I gotta set up the contraption again. Uh, 
Um, redstone torch, redstone block, that, that. That's not what I meant to do. Alright, so now I'm gonna put a repeater right here. So now what it should do is when I flip this lever, yep. I now walk on stone. Wherever I walk, it gets turned into stone. Even if I jump. sit here and easily make stairs unless I get too far away because the command cube uh, command blocks do have a range but uh yeah not the worst looking stairs whoop I'm back in its range um this one's gonna be a little extra annoying hmm Uh, uh oh, I don't actually know how to stop this one. Oh. <laughs> uh. We'll just go really, really far away. It's, its distance should have stopped. Okay. Um. So, I can't go over there anymore. And, um. Water. Water is also. A thing that can get real annoying and thankfully um, there's a real easy way to get rid of it with um, this command so if I do control V or yeah to paste it all and then we got to do a zero then it's re uh, remove and then uh, water um and we're also going to change these to um bigger numbers 15 15 15 15 That's a big number. <laughs> um, and we're also going to get rid of the negative for that second number. All right. So now, since this one isn't going to, it's only going to affect water. So I can, don't give me that back. Doing it like this will be fine. Oh, it's because I... No. There is zero. Oh, is this one... Is this one like this? No. No, okay. Um, uh, I wonder if it's replace. Let me change this back. I think it might be replace. There we go. Yeah, now look. All this water just goes away. Um, now, um, it only does the source block. So there is still running water. Um, you can do the flowing water to get rid of the flowing water. 
or else it can just keep um, continuing. Um, now, something really nice about this command is it only gets rid of water, and you can do the same thing with lava. Just instead of water, you put lava. But look how quick I get rid of this water. And you can completely adjust to this um, command. Like, um, like um, the first number, if you adjust that, it'll change its height, the second number, depth, and then the third number, width. Um, so the first one, up and down, well, no. Uh, no, it's left to right, the second one's up and down, and then the third one's sideways, so. But look, yeah, because I didn't do the um, running water, it's just all flowing back, that's cool. But there's just so much of it here. Oh, it's a self-repairing ocean, that's... Sheesh. All right, um, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, I'll see you all on the next one. All right, um, there's one more command I'm going to show off, and it's the clone command. Um, uh, I'm here at the temple of Mount Olympus. Uh, it's a nice statue. I'm trying real hard to remember the guy's name, but I can't. It's this chapter. Yeah. Hiding glowstone. Yeah. Simple trick. Simple trick. It's very nice. Anyway. So, for the clone command, I'm just going to need a few simple blocks. Let's see. Oh, this is a very nice looking block here. I'm just going to... I'm gonna put this in a nice um, three by three by three pattern, so that way we're working with a solid cube. You can do, you can really do this with anything, um, any shape. All right, so for the clone command, you're gonna need three coordinate locations. So if you have like a pen, paper, or notes on um. A device definitely um, use it. Poseidon's tried it, tried it. So you see this lighting. All right. So um, to do the clone command, we're gonna do slash clone oh I didn't do um I didn't do the slash there we go um oh and I also didn't take down the coordinates all right so for right here I'm going to use my phone, so if you hear some tapping, that's what it would be. 3103190 negative 306. So, um, essentially, this I'm just going to copy and paste this here. Um, you can do this with just about any size as long as it doesn't say you're out of the world space. I'll show you what um, I mean by that. So, we're going to want this right here. Um, something to know about coordinates is the um, 190 that is currently showing, that is where my feet are. 
like that's the block my legs would be on. So this is going to be slightly one higher than the space, than the actual space it takes up. And we're going to have to remember that for right here because I need it to go three lower. So because it's just from there to here, the coordinates aren't going to change too much. So So it should be 187 would be the bottom block to this thing, to this um, square. Zero, five. And then negative 308, right? Yeah. 308. All right, so that'll be um, good enough for right now. Um. So it's clone uh, slash clone three. One zero three one ninety uh negative three oh six six two Three one zero five one eighty seven negative three oh eight for my coordinates because it's going to copy everything in that cubic dimension. It doesn't have to be exactly um, a square copy you can copy just about anything as long as it's within the distance required so you can't essentially copy a castle and paste it somewhere else um so for destination we're gonna do shift and then space tilde space tilde so that puts it at my location. And then what we want it to do, we can replace it, mask it, um, force and move. But I'm just going to use the... Uh, Okay, replace, which copies every block, including air. Um, you can do masked to copy every block without the air, so... We're just going to do um, replace. place right there all right so look I can just set and replace it oh oh it finally happened so I was this is intentional like I meant to do this but I can just pop it pop out of it real easy but if you're um doing a really thick structure something to note is that 
if you go to the first tilde, and let's do, because uh, it's a small structure, negative, um, three. It should place it three blocks in front of me. Right? No, I think it needs to be a positive number, actually. If I enter... Yeah, there we go. So... Yep, it places it three blocks in front of me from the last coordinate I gave it. So yeah, we can just... <laughs> as many times as we want. Doesn't matter. Now, um, the thing I was just... I mentioned earlier about it doesn't work if you're too far away. So if I go right here, try to place some near the steps. Oh, I'm still too close to it. Uh, let's try to put some near this guy's house. Should be far enough away. See, it cannot access blocks outside of the world. Um. It's just a range thing. So, whoops. Uh-oh. <laughs> I, I put it too close to the fire. Whoops. So, um, that's the two commands. The, um, uh, remove one that's really good for getting rid of a lot of stuff really quickly. And the clone command. Uh, the basic version of it, the copy and paste command, I guess you could say. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the extra content today. I only did this because a uh, friend asked me to. So, uh, do remember t to um, subscribe hit the bell, like the video, tell your friends, and thank you all for watching.